Next up, at UFC Vegas 89, we have Igor Severino. You are going to see his last name listed a few different ways, like De Silva, depending on your sports book and where you do your research. But Igor Severino taking on Andre Lima. Both of these young men are undefeated. Both of them having some success on the Contender Series. Igor Severino is undefeated with all stoppage wins, while Andre Lima is undefeated in his career with five knockout wins. And what's interesting is this was a uh, this was a, a tricky fight to break down because they are early in their career. They are both very dangerous. They both can make things happen. Igor specifically is a fun striker who comes forward with power. Sometimes he's just chaotic. Uh, he's fun gonna come forward striker with good take then. Uh, let's see. He's a fun. He comes forward. Hold on. He's a fun striker who comes forward with power and at times chaos. I, I mixed up my script there. Oh, he's taking a picture for the gram. What a, did you guys do you guys watch him do that and then think like that guy's sweet? Or do you watch him do duck lips with extended selfie hands and just roll your eyes? I am curious because there's not a world where I see a grown man in a one bedroom apartment streaming to strangers on the internet on a Monday night, take a duck lip selfie and think that guy's sweet. That's not a world I live in. Sounds like a guy that can't take a selfie and post it too insecure. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unbelievable anyway Igor Severino he's fun he's chaotic he will move forward he tries to keep things technical and tight but he quickly gets drawn into a slug fight people hate when I say that and I stand by the fact that slug fight is a word slug fest is also a word but so is slug fight he will get into a slug fight he isn't a big wrestler but he will work fights to the ground if he needs to and when he gets there he just starts hammering away looking for a finish instead of trying to control and work the position. He does have a good amount of cardio. He is very dangerous but he can be sloppy which gets him hit and it creates unnecessary scrambles. Taking on Andre Lima. This guy's also a solid striker. He's going to invest in the body early. He's going to stay far more technical and he uses his technique well. He throws combinations. He's not lazy with anything. He will mix up his strikes he essentially is a pure striker though with some solid defense meaning he's typically looking to keep the fight standing defend takedowns and not get takedowns of his own if it does end up on the ground he's got solid submission defense and a good get-up game outside of the one takedown that we saw from him on the contender series that's the plan keep it on the feet and work from there he is coming off a contender series win and making his UFC debut. I mentioned this in my quick picks. I'll mention it here. If you are going to do your own research and you're looking up Andre Lima, there's like some wildly successful Taekwondo guy. This isn't him. And it took me about three fights of like, why is this footage so grainy? To be like, this isn't the same guy. So don't make that same mistake. Andre Lima is not the Taekwondo guy. This is an interesting spot. I am surprised that we have a very clear favorite here. At minus 190, Andre Lima, 2-1. to one. That is surprising to me because both guys are fun. They'll come forward. They'll strike. Andre should win. He's the more technical guy. But as I've mentioned many times before, and I mentioned on my quick picks, there is an old boxing adage that remains true in this fight. You box a brawler or you brawl a boxer, meaning Igor is the brawler in this fight. He's not the more technical guy. So for him to win, he needs to turn it into a brawl. He can't try to go technique for technique. He needs to brawl the boxer. And then that inverse needs to happen as well. So Andre Lima is going to be the pick. I do think this fight will be kind of sloppy and go a little longer. But uh, no money line or parlay here. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, Andre Lima is, is, is the better striker in this fight. But I, I worry about it, man. I, I really do worry about it. Because to me, he fights like he, he is a good striker. And he knows he's a good striker. And he fights like he's a very, very good striker. And he might be, right? I mean, he's 7-0. He's got a lot of finishes. He could be the guy that he thinks he is. But he reminds me when he's fighting of um, Michael Morales. And I'm not saying, or Marias. I'm not saying that he's as good as, as Michael. Because Michael's I'm really good. And this is not like a yeah. slam on Michael. But a lot of times they'll just kind of wait around. and Because the, they trust their power and the striking so much. And they want to find that perfect shot, right? That highlight shot. And a lot of times you see Andre fighting. He's It's, it's pressure, right? He's in your face. He's in your face. But it's not in your face. He's, it's not in your face pumping a jab and pumping a jab and throwing combinations and, and, and constantly working. He stays in your face and he's just trying to pull that shot out of you. And if you don't... 
if you don't throw that perfect shot and he can't find that perfect counter, then he's really going to kind of struggle in winning minutes of the fight. So I think this fight comes down to Igor is going to be winning the minutes of this fight. And there's a couple fights on this card I feel this way. He's going to be winning the minutes and it's going to be up to Andre to have the big moments to steal those rounds because I don't know if he's going to find a finish. And I do believe that his takedown defense is good enough against a guy like Igor, but I think that Igor is going to be winning the minutes for this fight. And if you're winning the minutes and he don't have those big moments, I think he's going to win this fight. I think Igor is going to find the activity and avoid the big power shots of Andre and, and come away with a, a victory in this fight. So I'm on the Igor side here. I don't absolutely love it, you know, but um, I like Igor. It would just be a little bit more active, and Andre's going to wait around too much and not find the big shots to win rounds. So I like uh, I like Igor here, minus so be honest with you. Yeah, well, that's... Uh... I hear you, man. I mean, he's definitely a good dog. Two undefeated contender series guys. We've seen these fights on the contender series. And how often does the underdog win on the contender series? Like very, very often, more so than than other cards. Neither one of these guys are proven. They're both fun, exciting guys. And, and I hear you. Igor is chaotic. And if you can keep it in some chaos while Andre's trying to be technical, that's how this could go. $7,200 in DraftKings does feel like solid money for the guy that has a 100% finish rate and that does come forward looking to finish fights where Andre has a couple of decisions under his belt and could, you know, could take his time, like you said, trying to find the perfect shot. So I would prefer Igor in my lineup if I had to pick one. What do you think? And he's probably the more well-rounded guy, too. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think he's going to take down Andre and hold him there and take his back and do anything like that, but there's he definitely can get a takedown. Yeah. I think he can definitely get a takedown, and Andre's right back to his feet, but they'll score in DraftKings. Five points, yeah. Right. $7,200 and and is a big gap. Yeah, and if he does get a, a hold of him on the ground, he's he's obviously very well-versed on the ground as well, so there's definitely some value there in the 7200 Yeah, that's a, that's a surprisingly wide gap in their salaries given the fact that there's not a... It's not like one of them's 20 and 0 or an Olympian. Like, you know, this is a wide gap for just two regular prospects. If you do want to unlock everything that we have, including the tools, the picks, the bets, and everything else on that website, go to wewantpicks.com, click become a member. It is only $10 for an entire month. Some people, we do have a super chat and a few other comments here that I would like to specifically address. This guy says, Angelo thinks irregardless is a word. I don't know if that's sarcasm, but irregardless is a word it's an actual word in the dictionary i looked it up before i pinned this comment i'm not that stupid it's a very real word that exists and the definition is uh i don't see the definition but here's the example <laughs> the, <laughs> the definition is uh oh <laughs> well because it's just pulling it's just the google summary yes irregardless is a word it may not be a word that you like or that you would use in a term paper. Irregardless certainly is a word. It has been in use for well over 200 years, employed by a large number of people across a wide geographic range and with a consistent meaning. And then blah, 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 blah. Uh, and then also, people hate that I say slug fight. That is an actual term. I have been hearing it and saying it a massive chunk of my life. And somebody said... I Googled it once. I hate that Angelo was right about slug fight. Ooh, you know it what must it, be a Connecticut thing. You know, the, the end of the, uh, I'm in MerriamWebstersDictionary.com. Its reputation has not risen over the years, and it is still a long way from general acceptance. Use regardless instead. But it's still a real word is the point. Couple of super chats. I have not read these. Let's hope they're not insane. Okay, there we go. At an origin. Uh, Anwell Tuber, four ninety nine. He said, I have been a premium member since August. I've always wondered, how did you and Jacob meet? Can we get a 60-second version of the history? Thank you for yeah, the I mean, five Angela spot. Didn't last, uh, Angela didn't last 60 seconds. No, that, don't let that, Jacob do this weird, this, this weird bullshit. Um, I moved to Florida. 60 seconds, come on. I moved we to Florida. We were fucking neighbors. Boom, done. Yeah, I mean, that is it. We were neighbors. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck you were about to get into. Jesus. Well, there was a summer day. Well, yeah, you know. 
We yeah, sat down it. with we, my family. We were we neighbors. Decided that it was time to move neighborhoods. <laughs> that is, we were looking that at, is what I was we going to go. We were looking at houses. You know, we found this one house, and, you know, we were touring the neighborhood. And I saw this young buff gentleman with okay, a, well. a nice black lab. And I thought, well, I bet he's a fun neighbor. And so we bought the house. And I, the, I'll be honest with you, the reason I bought the house was try to be friends with this guy because he just looked like so much fun. <laughs> and he was out washing his car one day, and I was peeking out the blind, staring at him. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to work up the courage enough to go say hi to this motherfucker so i got a half chub on in my short shorts and i went out there and i made myself known i'm angelo i'm loud i'm proud let's be friends that's basically it i wasn't wearing short shorts back then that's a newer thing but yeah we were neighbors and then we'd just chit chat talk about fights he came over to watch some fights then i moved and uh, jacob came out to visit and was like it's cool here. I don't need to stay in Florida. And then he moved here, and now we both live I in Texas. Think, I don't think that was a... Uh, then why did you move it. to Texas? <sighs> That's what I that thought. fucking ruined my life, honestly. There was a fucking... <laughs> I had to get away from there. I had to go anywhere, and Angel's like, you should move here. It's awesome. I moved here, and turns out it's not fucking awesome, but here What? You don't like it here? No. You being serious? You know, yeah, I don't really like it here. The weather's fucking terrible. It's fucking hot, and it's cold. There's fucking... It's not. What a Everyone joke. talks about Dallas is amazing. Dallas kind of fucking sucks. Probably I love gonna, it. I'm probably going to move to Vegas. Honestly, I'm thinking about it. There you go. See ya. Um, Jake Korich, $5 super chat. All right, Jacob, what's the karaoke song this week? I think Amanda wants to hear some Shaggy or some Pony by Genuine. That's the, uh, what's that movie? That's the Magic Mike song, isn't it? Bow, bow, bow. My pony. All right. Saddles waiting, okay. coming, jump on it. Okay, we're done. Dollar ninety nine from Anwell. He's back in the super chat. He said, "Great story, thanks guys, and you are very welcome." All right, shut up. That's also why I've mentioned. Stop. We gotta move on. I've actually mentioned that. That's annoying shit, dude. Coming, you know, I, do we get comments all the time that were like, I was watching until Jacob started gyrating and singing. And, then and I guess what? I don't off. give a fuck. I do. What pisses me off was when I'm doing this so I can clip it and you keep this fucking donation up and you fucking, you just ruin the vibe, baby. Nobody How many clips hit. of you shit off the screen? Off the stream. Get it off the screen! Oh, joke. Here we go, pony, so stupid. My honey. Okay, you guys, did you enjoy that? You guys want like to keep the stream. asking him to do that shit? Like the stream. Honestly, comment if you're sick of Jacob doing that dumb shit. That would be helpful so yeah, that he can and, see and, firsthand. And comment if Angela's a fucking prude. Okay. Sorry prude. I'm prude when my friend what, gyrates what? his hips I can't on the believe, live streams. I can't believe on a week that you're about to go to the apex, that you're having fun and enjoying life. <laughs> what, did having fun when, what did you say before What did you say before the card started? My eyes. What did you say before the card started? Oh, this card. I'm tired. This card sucks. This card sucks. And I'm sitting here living my fucking life. At the Woo! expense of my eyes. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.